knife out if we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but really? I don't know what happened. I didn't hear and a scream. Then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey, it's Steph. How did she get back there? Hey. And why are you Steph. here? Oh, because Mikey. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss... Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I really like Steph. I wish she was in the, the original. She's like a decent person. Everyone else sucks. I think I said that earlier. I don't think I can sit still any longer. My mom brought so Oops, many shit. home when dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Pirate ship. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Nope. Uh oh. Oh shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. Oh, those are the people we still the wa the wine for. This. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> Guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Hmm. That's funny. This poster seems to be missing some context. What to draw, what... Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Clean joke.
cleanliness is next to godliness in really short dictionaries. Nice. <laughs> Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. There's been a recent increase in anesthesia complications from recreational drug use. Please make sure to clear patients. Please make it clear to patients, especially those in their teens, that if they are taking any drugs, they need to disclose them for their own safety. The persi be persistent when talking down or taking down patient history. <coughs> One more hour of waiting and I would have read that. Mini go golf monthly. <laughs> Vending machine. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Check. Hip check. I used to be good at getting those that were little hanging flute fruit like that is a chew hip check I really want this candy bar I'm gonna get it everyone look at me all you want I'm getting it yeah, I got me a candy bar. <sighs> I want like 20 more of those. Dang, dude, she just inhaled that thing. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Oh, I can read Is it. Is this for real? One of your current patients is Michael North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has fa failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in spent speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Interesting. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. <gasps> I can graffiti it? I think this vending machine could be improved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I get it. Nurse, I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. Extract this baby Ruth. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are things? How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? That's good. Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little... Well... Guilty. Lately. Yeah. I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should ask Drew. You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. 
Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. All right. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? A uh, sign. I hope the Norths are going to be all right. All right, so that's Mikey. Hey. Firefighters. Mine's out. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Those guys the fire just went exhausted. out. How did the fire just go out? That's wild. That's Rachel's room. All right, I should probably go to read this real quick. Oh, we got another one. You, know, you ever notice how people in hospitals are always whispering? I think it's because hearing our own voices makes everything feel much more real somehow, like writing it down. That's actually a good point. Weird how only a few hours ago I was the one bringing something broken back to life. I almost can't believe I was able to fix up the truck. It, I took it for a joyride around the junkyard before Rachel showed up. We chatted for a bit, then shit got crazy. And by crazy, I mean Damon Merrick, the psychopath who's super interested in Rachel's bio mom and dad for some reason. He and Frank arrived demanding to know what we were doing. Before we could find out why, he pulled out a knife and stabbed Rachel. I might have been able to stop him if I acted quicker, but I just froze. If it weren't for Frank. That shadow behind the knife kind of looks like Reinhardt. From Overwatch. A blazing car ride later and I'm here at the hospital wishing I could make myself believe this isn't really real. Louis the much too real. P.S. I hope Frank's okay. Yeah, so like, we stepped up to a lot of fights and stuff that have happened in this game but we didn't on that one is it just because there was a weapon involved all right alert system air quality blah 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 culmination state park fire remains active moderate to heavy smoke expected limit outdoor activity i thought the guys just said it was done You still around? We're in room 785 in case you forgot. Cool. Wow. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Oh, she just gave me a hug. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. It's going to be fine. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You saved her, didn't you? When everything happened, I just... I froze up. That you were there for her when she needed you. That's what matters. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Hey, she's sitting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I never authorized that he be seen thus. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of bullies who were harassing him at school. That if I want to stay sane, I need Sir, to stay busy. I believe your son What's there is to do around here? Serious and alarming symptoms. Allow me the chance to Nathan's already getting more than enough attention from one of you. I am fed up with these made up problems. Oh jeez. Guy's more interested in looking out for his own freaking reputation than his kid. About this fire has been atypical. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, look at his little wizard bear. I love him. Chloe. Hey, you made it. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Chloe. What are you all doing? Trying to brighten oh. the mood. What have you all been up to? Yeah, homework, I guess. Yeah, homework. Totally. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Nah. Uh. We have our own problems. Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Karaoke battle. Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. <laughs> anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Mikey's nurses must love this. Heck yeah! Health devotion, six magic beams, a kiss from a beautiful woman. Cause for admission, cyborg operation, uranium exposure, dragon bite. Nice. Love it. Look at that. Well's being nice for a change. I'd like to express my deepest condolences for your injury. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I've made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs you may have. As for the matter, you were injured on Blackwell grounds. I can't help but feel personally responsible. I have to begin looking for new security know. personnel. Ben. If there's anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Man, this guy is all talk. He just says like, oh, look, I feel personally responsible, so I'm going to up our security and make sure stuff like this doesn't happen. And then two years later, freaking... People are bullying the shit out of a girl named Kate that she nearly commits suicide. 
or does depending on the outcome you get and so he's just all